Frankie Janet here, and thought today we'd give Manfred a little mod love by replacing his stock window with a new Lippard Thin Shade Snap-In window. So, the Lippard Shade that we ordered directly from Lippard Components via Amazon um, comes with the clips that you'll need for the Snap-In Shade. This window does not have the screws around the frame, so you need the clips. Some of these frames have screws, you just need a screwdriver and the procedure is pretty much the same. But we've got the clips, so in the interest of time, we've gone ahead and done most of them around the frame, but wanted to show you how they work. You'll notice that there is a groove on one side of the clip and they'll need to make sure that that is facing you as you insert it. And around the window frame, there's a little notch. You'll see where they go. So we're gonna, or I'm going to, put this last couple in. See, they just kind of slide right in. You might have to finagle a couple of them here and there, but, and then the other one goes up in here. There we go. So the frame now is ready to pop out. So they do recommend you have two people because I got to pull this frame out and then we're going to push the glass out. So Frank's going to grab the glass as we pull. So hopefully as instructions indicate. Okay, so yeah. I managed to get those last little sticky ones out and there goes the frame. Let's put this over here. So now it should just be a simple matter of pushing this out. I'm starting at the bottom. It's going to be a lot, it's going to be a hard push. Is it? Yeah. Oh my. Oh. I'll help you. Okay. Push. My, my handy helper. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> Spaghetti use. And there we go. So there. The window's out. Window is out. And there's what we have. Beauty. So we're going to take just a minute here. We need the clips to actually pull apart or um, take the new frame apart from its shipped position. So we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. All right. Okay. So we've got the new frame apart. Here's the new smoked glass. And this goes in the outside frame. frame. There you go. Okay. There we go. So it sits in there like that. Yep. Sits in there. The corners are going to notched out so you can get the glass in there. And you'll notice the sealer is yeah. seal is already on that thing. The seal is already on. Okay, so I'm going to take it and put it up from the outside. On the outside, yes. Okay. Want to look at anything? Or no, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, so. Hope it fits. New glass in. It's going to need some cleaning. Okay, I got the glass. Just hold the glass. It's tight up there. Hold the glass. Oh, here. Uh -huh. Okay. Now go get the frame. It's right here. No top or bottom. Okay. I'm just trying to see. Go ahead and snap it in there. You go. Feel okay, it. so snap. Yeah. Go to the other side. There you go. Go ahead, pop. Now go all the way down. Just push. Okay. One window in. I think we're in. Okay, right, now just what's left is the blind, and let's hope that goes in a little easier. We can go get the blind for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, this should be in the right way then, because we're going to do this. We're going to do this with blind up as opposed to down. So we're going to do the bottom part. That's the inside. There we go. Just hold that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Make sure we're going the right way. So, yes. Okay, going up there. Okay. Let me hold it. Put it up there. Okay, yeah. so. Latch that down. It's got to go thusly. Yeah. That has to go. Okay, so far. We in? Oh, okay. we're in. Okay, okay. and then same on the bottom. Yeah. 
whoops, whoops. 45 degree angle, 45 down. degree angle down. Latch. Latch and latch. And one has them there. There we go. Ta da! Patience, grasshopper. Patience. Patience, yes. Manfred has a new window. <laughs> It's supposed to have been about uh, 15, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I think yeah, we went to this boat around 45. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it all looks good. That looks good, yeah. So, Much nicer. There's a new Lippert Thin Shade. Yes. Why don't you come down? And I don't know if you can see the new glass. It, well, matches. it matches nicely with the yes, other glass. Yes, it does. Like it matches the, the frame of the under windows, which, yeah. of course, are Lippert components as well. Yeah, and the door is a Lippert, Lippert door. Yeah. So there, there we go. go. Good. All right. Got it? Got it. Good girl. Another little pod mod completed. So while we thought we had a little time left this afternoon, we thought we would go ahead and finish up another mod that we kind of had, you know, that we are waiting to do, which is replacing the smoke alarm, the stock smoke alarm here in the R-Pod. Because you know when you're kind of, you know, doing breakfast, you get the toaster going, and then all of a sudden the thing is screaming like crazy, and everybody thought, well, oh, let's put this fancy dancy little shower cap on it. We have a better solution. We found this Kitty smoke alarm, which has a front load uh, battery compartment, which means that when you know you're going to be doing something on the grill or the toast thing, you can just pop the, to disengage the battery and then just push it back in to re-engage the battery. It's all front load, don't have to take the battery out, you just pop the little cover open. So we're going to install that today. So let me take this out of here. Oop. There we go. I'm going to take the base off of it. That's good to go. Get rid of our little bonnet. Don't need that anymore. And then take the cover off the one that's here. And my handy dandy production assistant has just left the one, whoops, left the one screw in here to come down, so. Come on. There we go. So there's that. So here's the new base. And we have new screws, so. Just a minute now. That's got to go there, and got to go there. Okay, so let me just get that started. And hold your mouth the right way. We don't want this to move, do we? I guess we'll find out. Okay, screw number two. This just goes. Mm -hmm. Voila. Take the thing. Now the battery is engaged. So a little beeper. Now there's a little button that you push. Battery is disengaged. Toast to your heart's content. When you're done, re-engage the battery, Bob's your uncle. So, another easy peasy Mod Pod done for this afternoon. So there you have it, a couple of modifications for our little R-Pod this afternoon. And uh, if you like what you saw today, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you know, please consider doing so. That'll help out this couple of newbies that were still new at this and having some fun with it. And um, that, being said. that being said, this one's a wrap. 
and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.